So recently I've noticed that Jaffa's been showing signs of fear when we go into the freezer. I can't think of anything specific that happened, but there must have been something specific for her, most likely due to, for example, something dropping out of the freezer or a big loud noise with the drawer that caused her to be worried. This is super common with anything to do with pain in the body and noises. So my first session with this in Jaffa is to one, figure out exactly which part of the freezer it is that she's not keen on. I think that it's the drawers and not necessarily the door. Um, but also just to go through a classical conditioning protocol. So essentially this means it doesn't matter what she does, she can run away, she can do whatever it is that she wants to do behaviourally, but no matter what happens, I will give her food every single time I touch whichever aspect of the freezer it is. So here I'm touching the door because that seems to be okay with her, touching the door and giving her food. I'm just going to repeat this a couple of times. Touch the door and give food, no matter what she does. So here I'm moving on to touching the drawer, but just very, very lightly. Again, touch drawer and give food. And you'll see in a second that I move the drawer a little bit too much, which actually does cause, obviously, her to show signs of not being happy about that. And she's going to move away here. Um, but again, I still give food. At this point, it really does not matter um, what she does, as long as she receives um, something that she likes after I'm doing something that she's not particularly keen on right now. So this is session number two and I'm just continuing to work on the progress. Door opening equals food. Door opening plus drawer coming out a little bit equals food. Again, she can get up at any point. I'm not, I haven't asked her to go to her bed. This is just where she, she tends to lie. So she can be wherever she wants and do whatever she wants. And no matter what happens, she will receive the food from me. I'm just going to speed these section up just for ease of watching, but it's just all the same stuff. It's just rep after rep, making sure that I'm not doing anything that's potentially putting over a threshold. If I do, she still gets food and she gets the time to come back to wherever she wants to be near me. Um, and I'm not pressuring her or calling her over. So this is session number three. So we're doing quite well with the progress and I'm just doing this, I'm not even doing it every day, just a little bit every couple of days. And when I do need to go into the freezer, she's just in the living room. Um, or if she is in the dining room, I just kind of give her a cue and I just say, okay, I'm going to the freezer now, Jaffa, just so that she knows she can get out of there if she wants to. That can be really helpful as well. Um, but while I'm working on this, she's again, she's at her bed by herself. I'm not asking her to be on her bed and I'm just doing repetition after repetition um, to get her more comfortable. And she's now starting to look a lot more relaxed when the freezer door opens and the drawers are making any noise as well.